This is Gospel Music Today. We're at SingFest 2009 at the Maybe Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it's a great pleasure to be talking to Reuben Bean of the McCamies. And Reuben, welcome to Gospel Music Today. It's an honor to be here. It certainly is. I appreciate the opportunity to visit with you and talk with you. Now, I'd like to have you take me back for a minute to uh, 1954, to the beginning of the McCamies. Well, really, uh, they started before I met the family. So I, I met them in about 57, but they started in 54. And if I understood it right, uh, their older sister, Dora, was going to sing. And she told Peg and Carol, said, you're going to help me sing this song. <laughs> and that's kind of the way it started off for them. And then uh, in about 57, they came to my home church and sang. They, they sang a cappella music, to, singing. And uh, we got acquainted there, and really they, they wanted me to play guitar for them, and I did. And uh, Peg and I courted, and one thing led to another. In 1959, while we got married. And the story goes from there. <laughs> well, you, you, you picked a wonderful lady because uh, we've spoken to Peg before, and uh, we, just, we just love her. Well, she's a jewel. She, she's just what she portrays to be. That's what she is uh, all the time. And uh, I count it a great honor and a great blessing to have a lady such as that as my wife, as my partner, and my friend. Now, we have heard the story that it's very important to the McCamies to be involved in, in your own home church. Uh, we try to be as much as possible. We're there uh, with the exception, like in this case, we won't make it for tomorrow morning service, but we'll be there tomorrow night. And uh, most of the time, I'd say 95, 98 percent of the time, we're in our home church on Sunday. We may travel all night and get there just in time to get ready and go to church but we're there for church in, uh, with our Wednesday night. If we have to sing long distance on Thursday, we'll usually wait till after Wednesday night service to leave out and travel that night. So we're there Wednesday night and, and the weekend services. Uh, our daughter, Connie, uh, she's in charge of the choir and does the choir for us. And uh, so really we're, we're obligated in more ways than one, but our really our obligation that's not a good word. Uh, our uh, our convictions mm -hmm. to our and our commitment to our church right. is very important to us. Um, I need I need good preaching. I need to be preached to. I need to be sang to. I can't go out and give and give and give and never receive right. because I starved to death spiritually. And folks, there's folks that's doing that. They're starving spiritually, and. Um, and I'll have to admit, when we first started, we, we sang some Sundays, did quite a few of them, and uh, I just caught myself spiritually starving. And uh, I just asked the Lord to help me that we could could get it where we could survive, and he come through big time. Well, I've never regretted it. Now, we do do, occasionally we'll do a Sunday that's something that I guess you'd say fell under the grandfather clause and that we've been doing for 30 years or something, you know, that we'll do. But there's probably, there's probably not three or four dates a year that's like that. Now, has the group been on the road full time since 1957? No, no. Actually, there wasn't even a dream for full time singing. But uh, my dad and Peg's dad both were uh, Baptist ministers and they do revivals. And we'd sing at those revivals, and then the request got for us to come out farther and farther out, even to other states, and and it, it just got that way, and it finally it got so big, we either had to back out or get into it. And uh, 1980, we went full time. So uh, it wasn't a dream to do it, but the Lord opened the door, and we just we felt like we should go through it, and He sure made it worthwhile. Mm -hmm. You've seen some changes then in Southern gospel music over those years, I bet. Yes, I have. I've saw a lot of changes, some good and some not so good, I guess you would say. Um, of course, us being, uh, I guess you would say, we're from the old school. Um, we believe in a spiritual type singing, uh, ministering type singing, and I know that that's not the case with with everybody you know there's there's got to be so much entertainment in a major concert with people 
but uh, we've tried to be the, uh, I guess, the serious side of it uh, because that's that's what we survive on is the spiritual side of it. And that don't mean that we're always spiritual. I don't want to, but that's our strive is to be ministry oriented. Uh, just tell people, remind people that regardless of what their situation is, God is still God and he's there. And that doesn't make it a, a, a serious program. It's still a no, joyful, enjoyable right. program. I, I think that God meant for us to have fun, be happy Christians. Uh, and if, we're, if we have the joy of the Lord in our heart, uh, we're going to be happy. We, we may not be jubilant all the time, but there's going to be a joy that's bubbling down inside. Even when all the world is turning upside down and, and we tend to want to start worrying about it, we can just be reminded of who our master is. And that will bring a joy back to your soul, you know, where you realize you've got something that the world can't offer. Now, you had a change in the group uh, just recently with uh, Miss Carol retiring. Yes, Miss Carol retired, my favorite sister-in-law for <laughs> all these years. She retired, uh, and she, matter of fact, she's been gone three weeks now. And uh, it's bittersweet. She told us back at the Quartet Convention, matter of fact, that's when she told Peggy and I that she was going to have to retire. Well, let me back up. She needed to retire because of her husband retired retired and then wanted to enjoy the grandchildren and such and uh, so we've had that time to really and we we really didn't know uh, what we were able to do but when Cheryl found out our youngest daughter found out that Carol was leaving she said I'd like to have that spot if, if Carol's going to really retire and so that just made it great because back in up till 83 uh, Cheryl was singing with us. It was Peg and myself and Connie. And so when Cheryl took a, Carol says she took a temporary, a temporary leave and said, I've been here 26 years. <laughs> so, but uh, uh, it was a blessing that it, it's still in the family. Right. Um, and uh, Cheryl's doing a good job. She's just been at it for three weeks now and she's having to learn a lot of the songs. I mean, she's known her singing, but she didn't know the songs, you know, that well. But she's doing a super job. So the Lord has blessed again, as he always does. Now what's new for the McCamies recording-wise? Well, right now, we need to be recording. We're, we're not hardly ready, but we'll be recording pretty soon. We'll, we'll need to, and we need to get recording with Cheryl singing and everything. But uh, I'd say probably within the next month or so, we'll be in the studio. What's the current CD that, that's out now? Current CD, you know, you caught me off guard. I can't even remember the title of it. Uh, something more. That's it. <laughs> okay, I've got we got so many CDs. I get mixed up. Something more is the current CD, and the current song on it was was I made up my mind was a single that was released. Now the record company has released between 12 and 33, which is a very unusual song, but a very uh, strong song. And uh, just talking about the Christ, you know, there was a space there that we know, don't know anything about him. But it tells the man with the thought behind it was how he prepped up. We knew, heard of him. He's born 12 years old in the temple. Then there's a space that we don't hear about him until, until they start talking about his teaching there about three and a half years before his crucifixion. So, so it's interesting song that, that, that you don't put together and, and we're getting good response on that song really are very good. Reuben thank you very much for talking to us on gospel music today we love the McCamey well I appreciate that very much and we appreciate you folk very much thanks for the opportunity to just brag on the Lord a little bit yeah that's right. and now back to more gospel music today <laughs> 